Welcome to the first lesson of the Excel VBA Masterclass series. Sometimes the best way to learn a new topic is to deep dive into it without hesitation. In this lesson, we will build a macro which displays a message stating hello world when the user clicks a button. This exercise is designed to give you a sneak peek into building a VBA macro project. No prior experience in VBA is necessary to follow along but you should be fairly comfortable using Excel. The goal is to gain confidence by programming a simple end-to-end -end automation task. I'll narrate the steps you can follow along. Let's open a blank Excel file. Since we are starting out in VBA, I will suggest first closing any existing open Excel file. We need to do a bit of setup with an Excel first. We need to make the developer tab available in the Excel ribbon. By default, it's deactivated. If it's not visible for you, follow the next steps. Otherwise, you can skip ahead to the next section of this video. So right click anywhere on any tab, go to customize the ribbon. In the right window, search for developer and mark a check against it. Click OK. The developer tab is visible now. We will use it later on to insert our button. A macro is simply a set of instructions that we can execute. These instructions are lines of VBA code. We need to enter these lines into a coding area called the VB editor. Press Alt F11 on your keyboard to go to the VB editor. We see the project explorer on the left. If you can't see it, go to view and click on project explorer. And we can ignore the other windows. Our code needs to be hosted within a module. Let's create it. In the white space within the project explorer, right click, go to insert, module. A code window appears in the center. If yours is floating in the middle of the screen, you can maximize it. And if you close it by mistake, you can right click on the module that we have just created and click view code. Our code will be entered into the code window within a container called a sub procedure or sub for short. A sub procedure is also known as a macro. Let's type the word sub and a space. We need to provide a name for our macro. Let's call it display hello world. Hit enter. We get an open and close parenthesis after the macro name and the end sub words at the bottom and our code needs to be entered between the sub and end sub lines. So we'll come to the next line, press the tab button on our keyboard to add an indent. We need to display a message to the user saying hello world. We can use VBA's inbuilt function called message box. Let's type the name of a function, msgpox space. We can see some helper text stating what arguments this function can take we don't need to worry about these details now. We just need to display a text. So let's type it out. Text needs to be entered within double quotes. Let's add two double quotes. One, two, and we can bring our cursor between the double quotes and type the words, hello world. And we can click away. And that's a macro. And we can test it out now. Hover our mouse over the macro code and click anywhere between the sub and end sub statements. Go up to the standard toolbar and we can click down on the green button to play our macro. If you can't see the standard toolbar, go to view, toolbars and click on standard. So let's come back, click on the green button. Our message is displayed. Clicking OK will take us back to our code since we have run the macro from within the VB editor. Next, let's set the macro to run on the click of a button from Excel. Let's go back to Excel. We can click Alt F11 or we can go down to the Windows taskbar, click on the Excel icon and select our Excel file. On the developer tab, click on the insert button, go down to form controls and click on button. Drag your cursor down to the sheet area the cursor becomes a plus symbol, left click down and drag away to create a rectangle and release once you're happy with the size. The assign macro dialog box appears. Select the macro name that we had just created, click OK. Let's change the default text that appears on the button. 
right click once on the button, select edit text, delete the existing text and let's add in some custom text. We can say show message. Once done, click away. Our button is now ready to test. Make sure we're not in the edit mode. That is, these white dots should not be visible around the button. If they are, click away. To run the macro, let's left click down on the button once. The message is displayed. Click OK and we return to the Excel sheet and not the coding window. Great. One last step. Let's save this file. So far, we've built a macro project within an unsaved Excel file. To save the file, click on File, Save. Click on Browse to navigate to your folder. Provide a file name. Click on the Save as Type dropdown. Since our file contains a macro, we need to save it as a macro enabled workbook. We can select the option and click Save. Let's close our file and we can go to the computer folder where the file was saved. I had saved mine on the desktop. Let's open it. You may see a security warning on top. This appears because of the way we have configured our security settings, which can always be amended. And unless you click on the enable content button, the macro won't run. So let's click on enable content and the warning goes away. And we can click on a macro and the message is displayed. And that's it. Congratulations. You have built your very first macro end to end from scratch. That's it for this video. We are just at the gates of the wonderful world that is BBA programming. If you want to learn more, do join me on the rest of the lessons in this series. You will learn everything that you need to know to help you transition from an absolute beginner to an expert VBA programmer. See you in the next lesson where we explore how to automate tasks without using any code.